go live. So, hopefully that is working. Let's look. Where are we? Trying to get this to load. Okay, we're going. Right, hello everyone, anyone, anyone, <laughs> if anyone's watching. Um, it's Jim here, Extreme Booters. Um, let's just get rid of this. I'm here, because I've used the iPad to check it's all working, so I'll mute that so that nobody can hear me. Um, right, yeah, so, um, October sales update, bit late. It's uh, now the middle of November. Um, but anyway, thought I'd select a few um, uh, items that have sold um, in the last in October itself, and just see how um, how we're getting on. I mean, up here you can see sales in the last 31 days. Uh, compared to previous, we are down a bit, but compared to last year, we're up really, really well. Um, figures are looking good at the moment, so I won't get into any detail on the figures. I'm not really one to do that. Um, but anyway, um, let's see what's sold this month and give you hopefully a few tips and hopefully a few um, things to look out for when you're out there sourcing and trying to buy. Um, this is obviously a hotel board game. Um, this is one of the uh, best returning board games you can find um, if you find them. I've had quite a few, um, luckily. Um, they are really cool games. You get the... Um, I'll, I'll try and enlarge the photo. You get the actual buildings for the hotels with it. Just check that they're all there. Obviously, I re I built the game all up just to make sure. And on my photos, it was all built so that people could see. Um, especially this here. I don't know if you can see it, but this is a lamp post that goes in front of the Taj Mahal um, hotel. And they are always broken. Um, fortunately, on this one, I had both of them. And they were not broken, so I could uh, get um, a good price. Um, I think I paid for this £15, but I got two games. I got this and a um, May Young uh, game, an MB May Young game, which sold for a similar price. So it owes me around £7.50 and I got 35 So really good board game. Um, really is a board game to keep your eye out, uh, keep your eye out for um, because the return is very good. Most board games are uh, normally around the £15 mark, 10 to 15 but this one's obviously a cut above and under the... You can get 35 for it, so um, not a bad um, purchase. Let me close that one and open up the next. This is a uh, spider sapien robot. Um, it's actually really cool. I've never picked up these before, but they are they are actually really cool when you test them. I tested it for ages because it was really good. He does dancing about and moves all his arms up and down, his legs up and down, his head and his eyes. Awesome. Um, I bought three, uh, no, four um, Rover Sapiens in a bundle for 45. Um, Spider-Man is probably one of the better ones to find. Let's so say he gets £35 um, pounds on his own. So a really nice um, return. So the others, I think I've still got one left that hasn't sold, which is like a, a different one. It's on three wheels. The black one also gets around 35 And the normal white one, which is the normal one that you see, um, uh that only fetches around 20 quid but when i got you know i've got the the four for, for for 45 35 for this 35 for the other i'm already well in profit and then 20 and 20 for the other two so uh, not bad at all um hello to sue's piles of shame i do watch your channel i really enjoy it um thanks for commenting hello there um, I still do not know how to get comments up on my screen so that I can read them. I have to keep my iPad next to me, which is a very newbish thing to do, but that's me. I'm not very very good on live streams yet, but we're getting there. Uh, next one. This is a Barbie, um, but it's a Jurassic World Barbie of Claire. Um, Barbie Signature Series. These, I got uh, three of them. You can see there, three sold. I got them from TK Maxx. They were reduced at TK Maxx for £10.95 each. Um, and I've sold them for £27.49 with free postage. So after postage, 23 ish 24 um, I think, yeah. So good profit in that. Nice bit of uh, RA. 
um, and always when I go to TK Maxx, I do do a fair bit from uh, TK Maxx. I always go to the clearance sections first because, um, I, well, that's just the way I do it. But these were a nice find, so I think they were ten ninety nine or eleven ninety nine each. I picked up all three, and a nice return. Um, something I'm really starting to buy now, as you know, is um, ice skates, ice blades, um, roller skates, etc. Um, these are Bowers, top brand. Um, these were actually in absolutely really, really good condition. Um, there are 7.5. Um, I um, So um, a reasonable size. Um, but obviously not the nines, tens that you really want to find for for, for men's um, skates anyway. But even so, I think I paid about fifteen pounds for these ones and got fifty. Sold really quick. Um, I'm selling an awful lot of skates now. They do sell really, really well. Um, so yeah, one to look out for: roller skates, roller blades, ice blades, ice skates, ice hockey boots, all that stuff. This um, was a nice, nice find. Um, although tricky to package. I'm not one to sell um, furniture as such, um, but I spotted this um, outside a charity shop um, for five pounds. I thought, I'm sure I've seen those on eBay um, and somebody sold them for a lot of money. So I did a quick check when I was there, bought it, and as you can see, 70 pounds I got for this one. So the postage was a bit awkward. I actually dismantled it and then it sent the guy um, uh, like instructions on how to um, rebuild it just in case he couldn't work it out. It was pretty simple, really. Um, but I sent him instructions anyway just so he could work out how to how to rebuild it. And uh, yeah, really good return. Um, it's actually a it, well, it's a valet. You hang your, your your suit on it, so you've got the you know the, the this is for your trousers. This bar in the middle here. Then you've got the like uh, clothes normal um, clothes, um, I can't think of what they're called, you know what I mean, for your jacket, and then there's little bits, these little silver bits on the side here, pull out, you put your tie on that, and your, um, I don't know, your socks or whatever, but yeah, really nice item, it was branded Corby of Windsor, made in England, so when we used to make stuff, um, not that we do very much now, but anyway, that's another story, um, but good quality item, and a really good sale. Here next we've got some uh, golf trousers. Now the reason I've put these on is not particularly because of the return. I mean they're 20 pounds, but the fact that I found these in a golf bag that I'd bought, so effectively they were free. I did not know they were in there. I paid what I would pay normally for a golf bag, um, made a good profit on the golf bag, but always check the pockets. When you're buying bags, when you're buying case, suitcases, when you're buying golf bags, when you're buying I don't know, trainer bags, etc. Just check the pockets, make sure there's stuff in there. I find all sorts in golf bag. I find cash. I find um, sunglasses, clothing, and well, golf clothing, obviously, in golf bags. Um, but in other things, in handbags, you can sometimes find um, a bit of loose change or something. Sometimes you find stuff you don't really want to find. I found randomly in one golf bag once a pair of nunchucks. Not, not for the way, the actual uh, ninja style. So I don't know why he was carrying them when he was playing golf, but anyway, um, yeah. But yeah, so 19.95 for free, nice. Here we've got a fishing um, roller. Um, they bought I bought two of these, this Maver one and a Preston one, from a junk shop for a tenner, so effectively a fiver each. Fishing stuff sells really well. Um, obviously rods and stuff like that the big big stuff I tend to steer clear of because postage is so awkward with it you can make good money selling fishing stuff but the postage can be a killer on, on a fishing rod because obviously they're so long but fishing tackle very popular sport really good seller um, as long as you get the good brands and the stuff that people want and this was obviously, obviously that so a nice sale again here we've got a pair of old um, rally style uh, spotlights for the front of your car, Lucas 2020s. Um, these were a nice find at a car boot. Um, there was a guy who had them in his hand for, well, well, I don't know how long it was. He was stood there with them. Should I buy them? Should I not? He was on his phone checking something. I have no idea what he was checking because he certainly was not checking eBay because these were a tenner and I sold them for 60 plus £5 postage. 
So what he was checking on his phone, I have no idea. Um, because I knew straight away that these were good and that they would sell. Picked them up. As soon as he put them down, I grabbed them. Right, I'm having them. Hi um, to uh, Andrew, Money Mental. Nice to see you. Good. Thanks for watching. Um, yeah, so yeah, that really, really nice sale, that one. Really good profit. It just shows the range of stuff that we sell now. Um, you know, I've sold, showed you some golf clothing. I've showed you car parts. I've showed you electronic stuff. Um, I've sold you gaming stuff like this just the variety of stuff that we that we sell is really um from when we started and we, we were selling guitar hero which yeah well this is rock band but the same thing selling that selling the uh, video games and stuff like that the amount of different things now that we purchase um just from mainly watching people on youtube watching you know looking on the facebook groups um, that are out there um, and just trying to get tips when you when you're starting out now we're at a level where we can go to a car boat and we pretty much know we're going to buy something because we're, we're, we're i'm not trying to sound you know big headed there but we're into so many markets we're not specialists well we don't specialize in a particular thing yeah we we have our golf clubs we have this sort of stuff guitar hero and things like that that we really really know but other stuff nowadays if you've got a phone you can check anything when you're at a car boat um and it's worth sometimes going out of your comfort zone and spending a bit of money um these ones are certainly within our comfort zone this is the uh, xbox 360 pro um, rock band drum kit so because it's the pro you get the cymbals pack with it and you get a um, a pedal which is um, slightly um, better quality than your normal ones this was boxed although the box was very very worn um, we got it off a guy who um, does returns I believe from 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 argos or somewhere like that we've bought quite a lot from him in the past um at car boot sales um this one i'm sure it was 12 quid i'm sure it was i can't remember the exact amount but it was something like that we didn't pay a lot for it but it was missing a symbol now i managed to find the other symbol on ebay i think it was that one i think i paid about 10 to 15 for that can't remember exactly um, but then I could test it all, all worked lovely, got it on, 150 quid, and it's gone to America. Um, so yeah, that's the one to look out for, the pro stuff. I don't think they did a pro guitar as well, um, and the pro symbols, they really do fetch the money. Here's a nice little quick toy flip that we had, this was 50 pence. Um, Star Wars blaster, uh, had all the lights and all everything like that, really cool um 20 quid broke down the um i think you can see on one of the other pictures that no, could you it broke down the end come off and the handle came off so it was easy to package really quick sale and uh very very quick flip here we've got a uh the next thing let me close that one is this um i couldn't really get a good photo of this it was because it was so many wires but this is a parrot hands-free kit for a car um so you can be obviously um legal and use your phone while you're driving um paid a tenner for it it all worked um 35 no 32.95 sorry so not a bad bit of profit um difficult to photo i did my best with the photos but because it's all wiring you just can't get it flat but anyway um it sold so that's all that matters here we've got the sony sports um cassette player i loved this i used to have a sony sports walkman um found this did pay it for it spent 25 on it i was hoping for around 69.95 for it but it wouldn't go so i just dropped it down to 50 and uh, and it sold um so again paid up for it good quality item uh, good name good brand uh, and it sells and it sells and it gets good money so it is worth um paying up for stuff um you do get the returns here's a little board game flip that i had um, found this in a charity shop for £4.99. It was £4.99 because it was sealed. Um, so, um, you know, charity shops' prices are going up. Yeah, okay, they are, but you can still make money from them. It's, it's, You just have to, um, you know, do your research. And, and yeah, you don't pick, I don't pick up as much as I used to pick up. For, I used to walk out of charity shops with bags full of stuff. Um, you don't now, unfortunately, because the prices have slipped up, but you can still make money there. You can still make money. Say four fifty into seventeen fifty. Sold the same day as I bought it. Bought
bought it, got home, photo, listed, sold, same day, done. Like sales like that, and I like ones that are easy to um, package as well. Um, I'm going to leave the next one till last, I think. So I'm going to go to that one. This is a British Lions um, coat, rugby coat. Um, bought this on a day when it was pouring with rain. I did a video um, when I was out charity shopping. It was pouring, so I was looking for a coat to buy. And I found two. I found this one and another British Lions one um, together. I think this one was a tenner and the other one was £8. And as you can see... 45 quid for this one the other one hasn't sold yet because i haven't listed it um but i expect around 20 to 25 for the other one um and yeah uh, just stood out to me because it was one of them ones i remember because uh, of the rain and i used the other coat that i got with this one to keep dry so nice um what else we got i think it helped also with the world cup that one it meant we could have, i could up the price just a little bit the rugby world cup here we've got them scales that I found, not the return I was hoping for, and they cost me 25. Um, I hoped to get 70 for them, um, but unfortunately not. But I will take um, doubling my money. So after fees, etc., I've made probably 15, 17 pounds. So not too bad. Again, good quality, paying up for it, but you get the good returns. So I've left this one till last because this is one of my favourite pickups that I've made probably this year it's not the biggest sale i've had or anything but it was one of my favorite pickups and that's this it's a wheel just one wheel from a bmx an old rally burner um if you're old like me you remember rally burners i had a night burner my brother had a mag burner and we used to tear around the neighborhood on them um this is just a wheel um, it had a tyre, but the tyre was perished, so I took it off. Um, what makes this one special is that this the Suntour coaster brake. So this is instead of using your brakes on your handlebars to brake, you could back pedal, and it would brake um, it would brake on the axle and slow you down. Um, yeah, you don't see them. You just don't see them anymore. Even on burners, you don't see them anymore because they just they're just so rare. I mean, the wheel itself was good. It's a Skyway uh, Super Tough 2. Um, so what you tended to get on the mag burners, um, it was white, but the colour had faded quite significantly. The wheel on its own would have been worth, I don't know, £25, £30 pounds maybe just for the wheel. But because it had that coaster brake on it, then we were in the money. Paid £2 for the wheel. A car boot he said he had the front one but he hadn't got it with him so not to worry but i mean i i, I didn't even notice that the brake on it i bought it anyway for two pound i knew i was going to flip it into 25 but because of the brake boom 99.99 what a sale well pleased with that um so yeah really good so there's a few of my sales for the month as you can see, we've done really, really well this month. We've had no days with no sales, which is obviously very, very good. Um, yeah, so I hope that is of use to someone. Um, thanks for watching. Thanks for the people who've, um, as I can see, that Andrew and Sue there have been having a chat on the uh, on the, uh, the chat. That's always nice. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. I'm going to end it there. Um, I hope it's useful. See you on the next one. Later.